I would like to thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity to speak about some of the work that we do at the University of Bologna at the Department of Biochemistry. So this presentation has to deal with the biochemical to the study of the biochemical processes of uh, amyloid protein aggregation, which is related to a number of uh, degenerative diseases. We have established an, a number of techniques to study this protein aggregation process, uh, and uh, we're at the point uh, of uh, fine-tuning another number of techniques to study the interaction of other molecules, such as drugs or lipid membranes, with this process of amyloid aggregation. Um, how we do it? We use uh, single molecule techniques. Uh, in particular, single molecule for spectroscopy and AFM imaging. We are mainly biophysicists. Oops. Uh, so, um, we, we are mainly biophysicists and we look, we offer our technology in particular to uh, clinicians and to pharmaceutical researchers that could provide us with specimens and drugs to study the interaction of of such molecules or the specimens with the, uh, with, <clears throat> with the aggregation process. And we're interested in both collaborations and uh, writing collaborative project proposals together. Um, the goal is to develop a drug screening test platform uh, based on the knowledge uh, gathered by uh, single molecule techniques. And we think that it could be done uh, within a time frame of about three years, and uh, uh, obviously with the correct funding. So just to give you an insight uh, in the science below our work, uh, normally people think that uh, proteins have a well-defined structure, and uh, from the structure it depends their function. Uh, this is not the case for all proteins. There is a number of proteins in our body that are called naturally unfolded, which is they're not completely folded. They're, they have at least part that is not fully three-dimensionally three structured. And these proteins are known to be able to aggregate into large bodies up to fibers. And uh, this process is known to be related uh, to several degenerative diseases, like neurodegenerative diseases, like Parkinson, Alzheimer, but the same process is also involved in uh, brain diseases. And this, oops, the, the, this process is, is pretty complex. It's a hierarchical type of aggregation where you have monomers that get together into oligomers, which get together we, in larger uh, structures and so on. And what makes this difficult to study is the fact that all these, processes, all these processes are happening together, but also the fact that the triggering of this event depends on the conformational change of the proteins that are not naturally folded. And so most of the standard techniques, analytical techniques, are not very useful to understand this, and this process is not very well known very well understood. So we are one of the labs that study this phenomenon with single molecule techniques. So you, here you have a cartoon about the single molecule for spectroscopy where you physically pull a single protein and you measure the force that, you need, that, you, that is required for unfolding. So from the traces that you record, you can gather information about the conformation of the protein and the conformation is relevant for the process of ag aggregation. Another technique that we use, I'm done. Another technique that we use is uh, AFM imaging, uh, and we use it to gather information, kinetic information on the formation of fibers. And this is the technique that we wanna implement to, uh, to, study, with interac uh, to study the interaction with drugs and lipid, membrane. <coughs> lipid membranes. Um, we also do develop biosensors, so we also can take information at the single molecule level to develop uh, macroscopic objects with the knowledge at the single molecule. So, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.